Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna talk about me getting LASIK and everything that I went through. And girl, let me tell you, I went through so much. I didn't come this far just to come this far. Yeah, in today's video, we're gonna talk everything LASIK from my post-ops and my, my surgery day, post-surgery, and just overall how I felt about it. When you watch the rest of the video, you're gonna be like, girl, what are you talking about? The first clip, I actually recorded my pre-op because I thought that was going to be the day I was going to get approved for LASIK surgery, but it wasn't. I think I had three or four pre-ops before that pre-op, so I wasn't too sure if I wanted to vlog that because it was the same every time of them telling me, no, you're not getting LASIK this week. No, you're not cleared. It's just me reiterating that I wasn't going to get LASIK, so if you feel that that's a little jumpy, Sorry, I didn't think I was going to record a vlog of me getting LASIK, but I thought the journey was so unique that I had to. To start off, why did I want to get LASIK? I wanted to get LASIK because I've been wearing glasses since I was in middle school and then contacts um, a little over a few years now. But I'm sick and tired of it going back and forth. It's kind of getting annoying. Um, and I'm just ready to just wake up and not have to look for my glasses and have to flip-flop between the two. So I've just been very, very tired of that lifestyle, so I was like, I need to get LASIK ASAP. The reason my last glasses that I got, it was about 400, almost $500. I was like, girl, what's with insurance? That's crazy. Middle school, I probably would have spent more than what I would have paid for LASIK, so I'm like, this is gonna pay for itself in the future. I don't have to pay for contacts or new glasses every single year, and that's like a lot. I like couldn't believe it that my glasses were that much um, with insurance so I was like yeah no I'm tired of it and my mom's like why don't you get LASIK done that was also another reason why I wanted to get LASIK I could tell you you're gonna hear in this vlog a lot if you have dry eyes get that situated beforehand because you're gonna have to do a lot of treatments before you can get LASIK because your eyes do become dry after LASIK it is really really crucial that you do not have severe dry eyes because that will just hinder your um, appointment and your luck. It will hinder your luck getting LASIK. It's not saying that it's not possible because I did it with dry eyes. You will just you will just have to take extra steps before you can get LASIK. For example, I went to a dry eye specialist when I initially went in for LASIK pre-consultation, but they said my eyes were too dry, so I had to get that handled, and I did. I took a lot of artificial teardrops, a lot of ointment. I had to get. Uh, Permanent plugs for all of my tear ducts. That helped produce a lot of tears to come out and relieve a lot of the dryness. Um, so I'm really glad about that. So honestly, it did hinder me into getting LASIK earlier on, but I feel like it helped me in the long run because my eyes are not that dry right now after LASIK. I just have to do my drops four times a day, three times a day, and in between those two. So I have a lot of drops I have to do outside of recovery. And mind you, I've been trying to get LASIK since January. They couldn't get me until March, and then now it's July. And it's just been a long time coming, so this vlog is very chaotic. And if you hear me saying that I'm excited a lot, it's because I'm really, really excited. Um, because I just couldn't believe it. A lot of no's, but, you know, it was for the better. It's just like the burnt toast theory, that's what I was thinking. But I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and my journey to LASIK, and I'll see you guys at the end. Notice anything different? You don't, because I still have not gotten LASIK. Um, it's been a very, 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 very long journey to getting LASIK. I unfortunately could not go to my pre-op on Monday to clear me for hopefully a surgery today, Thursday. Um, my flight from Minnesota got canceled. Here's a LASIK update. I'm not getting LASIK because we're stuck in Minnesota still. Our flight got canceled. I cried because I've been waiting for LASIK. This is my LASIK vlog. There's nothing to update. But hopefully my next pre-op, I get cleared to do it the week after. Uh, I'm really hoping because this is really hindering my hot girl summer. Just kidding. I am very tired of wearing my glasses. They hurt on my ears, my nose right now. I wish I can just pop in my contacts, but I'm really trying to be a good patient and not do any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna thug it out with my glasses like I've been for a while. 
fingers crossed mid-July or early August, I get my LASIK surgery. Um, I'm being very, very, very hopeful. Good morning. I'm going to my fifth pre-op. I think it's my fifth or sixth. I'm fingers crossing that this will be my last one and I can get it next week on July 11th because they only do surgeries on Thursdays at the place that I'm going to. So this Thursday is 4th of July, so I'm obviously not gonna get in this week, but I'm really, really, really praying that I will get in on Thursday, July 11th. Um, if not, I might just cry myself to sleep. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. This is after surgery. I cannot believe I'm getting LASIK. Sick about it, these glasses. Um, I've been saying lately, I'm like, I do not feel bonita. I do not feel bonita. Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita. <laughs> Wonderful, because you look bonita. I can't believe it. It's like a college acceptance letter. You're just waiting to hear but i just can't believe it i'm so so excited for the journey because next week we're getting lasik we are five days away from my lasik surgery day today is sunday july 7th i just got back from san diego so i'm probably a little tan from also me saw me i did get some sun today i'm gonna take off my nail polish because i don't think i'm allowed to have nail polish during my surgery i don't know i'm just gonna take it off because i'm not having more complications okay this has been a long journey and I am ready to just indulge in it. So I'm going to follow the rules, but take this off. I really don't know what to watch right now because I'm waiting for Love Island to go live on Peacock. Are you guys watching Love Island too? Who's your favorite? I'm rooting for the girls, the OG girls. All right, I took my nail polish off. I look crazy. But I just woke up, it is 7.50. It's gonna ring my alarm. I need to do my antibacterial drops. There's my 7.55 alarm. I can't see y'all right now, but I'm gonna do the moxifloxin. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> but I have to do this one four times a day. Or, right now, three times a day. I guess I can talk about like what I've like gone through so far for pre-op for LASIK surgery because I have been through a lot of pre-ops um it's been really insane I didn't know it was gonna take this long um I've been trying since January to get in with the LASIK doctor when they first got me they're like no girl you're not getting it so at first I saw a um, dry eye specialist for my dry eyes and he was like so when were you trying to get LASIK? I'm like, by next week? He's like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna happen. Maybe for another four months. I'm like, I was like, who lied? Who lied? They said that I could get LASIK within a week. But I did have dry eyes, so I had to get that situated. If I could tell like everybody who wants to get LASIK, I would tell anybody who wants LASIK, if you have dry eyes, get that under control beforehand um obviously they can help you a lot too once you're in office with your dry eyes i wish i knew but you know no one ever cared about my dry eyes this much unlike this place i'm really grateful for this place for getting my dry eyes under control because i feel like i don't blink that much anymore and i have permanent plugs in my eyes so that's gonna help also with posts um, LASIK, so you're gonna have to take some omega-3s or fish oils, and I can't take pills for the life of me, so it's been excruciating trying to take those pills, because they're oil. Day one with these medications, and we're two days away, today's Tuesday, and I got a time for my LASIK. It's at 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday. Oh my god, it's really happening. I still don't believe it. I'm like in denial. We're one sleep away from LASIK tomorrow and I'm so freaking excited. I feel like I'm waiting for this day all week. However, I can't have any scent, like any perfume, lotions, etc. So I took a shower tonight and then I'm gonna heavily moisturize my face tonight because I can't even wear moisturizer tomorrow or sunblock. I remember the drops that I had to start um, before my 
my surgery date? Well, girl, let me tell you. I did the first day I took the drops. I didn't know I was supposed to shake it. And I put a lot of one by accident. I was just heavy hand and I can't see, okay? So I just, a little too much. And girl, I was eating lunch and I could just taste the medication when I'm eating and I almost threw up. Also, I cannot wear jewelry tomorrow, so I have to take off all my jewelry tonight because if I don't take it off tonight, I'm going to forget it. And I'm gonna show up to my appointment like, oops, can you hold my stuff, mom? So, take off the jewelry. It's crazy. I had to write the word shake on here for me to remember to shake this girl back and forth. Let's say good night. Um, this is my last night with glasses. That's so scary. So I'm fingers crossing that everything goes well. And I feel like I won't believe it until like post surgery. I'm like, yeah, my belly sick. I'm like wearing the goggles. This is gonna be the last time I see you with my glasses. <laughs> Too soon. Good morning, it is my surgery day. I'm so excited. Um, my mom asked me if I was nervous. I was like, no, I don't feel nervous. I'm about to eat because uh, I can't eat a big meal that much before my surgery. So I'm gonna have a little snack, just a little, a little avocado and cherries. On our way! Ooh, fingers crossed still, I'm still in denial. But we're gonna lay sick. Here we go. I think you just wait here. happened. I was in denial every step of the way. I was like, okay, I'm in the next room. This is looking good. All right, I'm in the next room. I'm looking good. And then boom, they're like, lay down. I fell asleep in the exam room. Yeah. It's what happens when you're on volume. They're like, hey, Kalia. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I knocked out. They're like, no, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. This is not like, what do they call it? A fever dream. I knew 7 Eleven was a good number. It was really a good number. And it's 111 degrees outside right now. I don't even know if I'm recording right now, but this is like 10 p.m. at night. I was knocked out. When I got home, but this is me post LASIK. It actually happened. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my post op. Oh my god, my eyes look so swollen. But good morning. It's the day after LASIK. This is crazy. I slept so well. Anyways, this is the first thing I opened my eyes and I read. If I ain't got you by Alicia Keys. You know me. That is my song since I was a kid. So it's crazy that that was the first thing I read. But I gotta get ready because I gotta go to my post-op surgery. I mean, I have to go to my post-op and see how well my eyes are going. Oh my god, I look crazy. Our smoothies. Post LASIK, yeah. going to post op, uh, post op, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On our way. What's up, guys? This is me post surgery, post op. I went to see my doctor this morning, and he said I have 2020 vision. Not really can see you haters. I've been wearing these all day because it's freaking hot here in Vegas, and the sun is just beaming. But I can take them off. But girl, we paid hella money. I'm gonna keep wearing them. Just kidding. I'm gonna take them off. But this is me with no glasses, no contacts, 2020 vision. I don't know if y'all can see, but I have some blood vessels popped in there. Not to worry. Not to worry. It's from the clamp when they clamp my eyes open to do the laser. Oh my god, I need to tell you guys my experience. Time was 1.30 p.m. So I got there like roughly 1.20. I was only a few minutes away. Um, I checked in, everything, showed in my drops. You must have your drops before you go in. I waited a very long time to go back into the back room. Um, so once they called me back, 
I was put into this separate room where I was waiting to like to go next for LASIK. There's two other people in there. They were really cool. They started talking to me and I was like, wow, this is like such a fun environment. Um, but it was a little dystopian. I'm like, why does it feel like we're getting drafted? You know, like it's the Hunger Games. We're sitting here, we're all getting picked to go next. Out of nowhere, I started getting hiccups. I was so pissed. They came in, they helped me, they told me to hold my breath. I was gone by then. They bring me to the room. And I was just like, hello everybody. They lay me down. I knock out, I fell asleep in the operating chair. I was like this. They're like, Clea, they're ready for you. I'm like, almost like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. Then all of a sudden, my doctor comes in. I love him, by the way. He comes in, he's like, all right, Clea, let's get started. I wasn't scared. So he put the clamp in my eyes and it felt like he put like a circle ring in my eyeball to open up. And then all I saw was kind of like the solar eclipse, a like a ring of light. And then when he started shooting the lasers in my eyes, I saw like colorful things. Like I felt like I was, I felt like Remy when he was eating all like the cheese and like stuff. And then like you just see the fireworks. Something new was created. I was so out of it. They're like, all right, we're going to bring you to the uh, next room. They sat me down. They're like, just kidding. Your mom's here now. So my mom got me. And then my mom brought me home. I did not know it was like 6 p.m. when I got out of my LASIK. I got there at 1.30. And I took a nap. Kind of. Girl, I woke up at 10 p.m. I told my mom, I was like, can you put music on for me so while I'm sleeping? Because I know I can't open my eyes for a couple hours. She's like, yeah, she put on music. Girl, I was having the time of my life. I'm like, oh my God, Spotify's playing all my favorite songs right now. I had to turn on my light because I need to show you guys my glasses collection. Because rip the glasses era, I'm not that girl anymore. I can't believe it, but I've only had three glasses my entire life wearing um, glasses since... Middle school, I think it was the seventh grade. Seventh grade, I started wearing it. I don't remember, but let me show you them. These are my first glasses when I got in middle school. Still have them. And glasses were these. They were also from Ray-Ban. I wore these for years. Clearly, because look at it. I wore it to pieces. This recent one that I just got were these. They're from the brand called Moto, I think. Yeah, Moto. These are the most recent ones right before I got LASIK. What a collection! I can't believe I just had three. I have to wear every night. My cool little goggles. Because I'm that girl. It's giving Gary. If you know, you know. My bestie, Gia, um, sent me these. She ordered these for me. It's giving Ninja Turtles. I'm gonna cool this down maybe watch love island with it but yeah i am fully recovered one week i still have this um blood vessel that's healing up it's been healing up really nicely and i can fully see and read uh i can read everything in my room right now i can read my usher funko pop i can read everything around the room to say though um i did get the halos so when i'm driving at night everything seems a little fuzzy when i look at lights but i can read all the license plates the um the exit numbers, the exit words and names and street names. I can do that. I can read all that. However, I wanted to show you guys. Now that I got my LASIK, I have to go to the DMV and get a new license. Which is good because my license expires this year on my birthday. And I need to get a new license because I still have the vertical one from when I got my, li my driver's license. Like I think it was 17. 17 or 18. It was around that year. But yeah, so I'm very excited. I am gonna get a new license, a horizontal one. I have an appointment already I made. Um, but it's just, I, I feel reborn. I feel like rebirth. It just feels great to be able to see everything and just wake up and get up and do my things. I do find myself pushing up my glasses like I did before because I had a low nose bridge so everything would just fall. Um, I do catch myself like thinking oh i need to take my contacts off like at the end of the night because i'm not wearing my glasses so a lot of those things i need to adjust with but i would rate my experience 10 out of 10 i feel like it was great despite all the pushbacks that i got from getting lasik surgery 
the whole experience was 10 out of 10 um for my pre-ops even though i had like plenty of pre-ops everybody was so nice and understanding being in the exam room it was a 10 out of 10 dr wellish was so cool and nice i mean granted i met him when i was younger when my mom got lasik but it was such a great experience um even post-surgery they were just so supportive and everything um how my eye was doing wondering about my care it was just overall 10 out of 10 experience the pain was a 2 out of 10 the only thing that hurt was the suction cup that they had to put on my eyes to hold my eyeball in place that was the only like pain i felt but thank you guys so much for watching my lasik vlog i so appreciate it and i hope you have a great lasik experience if you're watching this thinking about getting lasik i would highly highly suggest it um if you have any more questions dm me on instagram or leave a comment i would totally love to answer if you guys couldn't tell i love freaking talking i'm a yapper but thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video